morning my lovers oh today is a beautiful day it is warm there's a slight breeze out in the middle of the fields but uh, it's lovely it's currently about 22 celsius now i do not know what that is in fahrenheit but uh, it's pleasantly warm it's not too hot yet so i um, come out onto the field where i found those two uh, brooches turned out to be 13th century so I've got, a, I've got a hot spot here, so I'm going to dig everything here to see what I can find. But before we do that, last weekend was a bit of a washout. It wasn't very good weather for making a video. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put in, right here and now, some clips from our better finds, which were hammered coins. Oh yes, hammered coins. So what, we've got, what I'm going to do is put that clip in now. See, this is the area. We got one here. I think. That'd be 31. Ooh, look, right on the surface. It is... Oh no, there is something on there. What are these, Raymond? Either, either William or Anne. Which way is it facing? You can just see your head facing that way, I think. It's William. 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 Yeah. yeah. 16 something? End, end of the 1600s. Yeah. Hmm. Right. Here we go. Right, I'm going to. I'm determined now. I'm going to walk round. I'm going to find one on the surface. So it helped in doing that, didn't it? Yeah, right. Right, look at what I just found here, my lovers. Actually, there was quite a few signals just here. I was wondering. Hey. There was quite a few signals just here. I was wondering whether it was like a little... There might be a few. A batch. I have found them in, in batches. Look what I got here. I think it's a nice old coin. I'm going to have to get one of those little... What do they call it? Um, oh, that squeezy water bottle. Sixpence. Oh, I can see his face. Is it him? The face in the same way? Yeah. yeah. He's got like a little tuft on the top of his head. William the third. <laughs> yeah, smooth on that side. Well, a bit on the top. Looks like it's been bent like a bit, um, almost like a love token on one edge. Huh. I haven't found one of these before. Right, I reckon I got a hoard of them here. Right, right, look what we got here, my lovers. like a sh voided short cross. It showed up in the 50s. Funny looking thing. Eh? What's that my lovers? I haven't seen one of these before. That was bigger. Oh. Yeah. Oh no. Oh. No, not the same. Probably, it's probably, probably the, the same, same one. <laughs> the same coin. <laughs> <laughs> Did you enjoy that, my lovers? Right. I've got a signal. It's lovely and warm. Really nice. Look at that blue sky. Right. Let's get some digging in. Get some digging in? Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> right. Let's go. Ah, at last. Church bell will be... Oh, going again. What's going on then? 
Bring out your dead? Someone died in the village? Right, this signal here was 16 on the surface. You know I said I was going to dig everything. 16 on the surface. Oh, look at that bit of old pot there. Look at that. Is it pot? It's got a curve. Oh, I don't know, it might be a rock. Oh, yeah, it won't snap. It's a rock. Right, so this was 16 on the surface, which is definitely iron. Under 20, it's definitely iron. Now I put the detector over it, it's saying... It's saying 81. Just jumped up a bit from 16. So, it's probably still iron, but we'll have a look. It's a bit weird. Oh, no, can't find nothing. I think someone's died in the village. Oh, now we've got a plane going over. Great. Ah, we got something. Yeah, iron. That's the problem with digging everything. You're gonna get rubbish. Oh, that chipped off rather easily. What's that then? That came off very easily, that rust. Yeah, weird. Dunno, just a bit of metal I think. That rustle just flew off. I'll give it a clean, see, see if there's anything on it. Yeah, that rust came off really easy. Just some sort of thin bit of metal, I think. Nothing special. Right, on to the next. Right, I found a queen, my lovers. It's a bit crusty. Oh. No, I can't see much on here. The surface is completely coming off. No, nope. he's at it. Crusted away, a coin of nothingness. Or almost nothingness. Right. I'd say looking at the thickness, probably George II. And a bit of the surface on this at some point. Right. On to the next. Right. I got a nice, good signal here, my lovers. Oh, it's the best signal I've had all day. 53 and it's in a small place and it's five inches down well mid-range 50s that's a that could be a hammered coin so I'm going to attempt the fatal live dig right that's about five inches on my spade Oh. 
get you a bit closer. Right, where's my pinpointer gone? Here it is. Oh, thought we had something then. Obviously not. Is it in here? Well, that's not five inches, is it? It's more like four inches. So I suppose they can't be perfect. It's probably going to be a bit of foil now. Oh, can see something there. Yeah, look. That's a first for me. A bit of a zipper. Someone's been shagging some sheep in here. Broke his flies trying to get it in. Right, on to the next. Right, I just turned this plot over and I got a bit of dark material in here, look. Ooh, that's a bit odd. What's that then? It's like clinker or something. Oh, there it is. I think it's a 5p. Spendable 5p. I think. It's got a milled edge. Oh yeah, I can see the 5. Just there. Right, all my spendables. So that's a penny and 5p I found today. So that's 6p. We'll be going to the Portable Antiquities Scheme. They've got a Just Giving website. And anybody can collect up all their money and uh, give it to them. What you do is you put it through that machine they got in Tesco's, you know, to cancel your spare change. You know, because you went into the bank with a pot of these coins, they might, they might frown at you. So you stick it in those machines and it'll give you the cash. Right, on to the next. Right, I think I got something in here. No. No. Ooh. Oh, it's a mood tube. We haven't had one of those for a while. That was giving such a sweet signal. Uh, no, can't see a date. We yeah, are Glaxo Smith Cloyd, look. Right, on to the next. Right, I found something here, my lovers. And it looks really interesting. I've slightly moved position. Yeah, what's this then? It's a bit odd. Is that part of a buckle? Don't know. It's got little dents on this side. Right, I'm going to get this cleaned up and I'll get back to you. There it is. What's that then? Don't know what that is. It looks broken, so I'm going to check around the area, see if there's any more of it. It's got like these little lumps in a slight curve. Looks quite old. It's quite weighty. Right. I'm going to have to search around and see if I can find any more of this. I don't know what it is. Perhaps it's a bit of uh, Bronze Age. Nah or uh, Saxon. Saxon would be nice. My first bit of Saxon would be lovely. So yeah. Right, let's get looking for some more. Oh, I had a bit of a disaster with the old camera. It didn't record. 
So I'm going to have to do it again. Just dug in this coin up. See his little pudgy face? Now the unusual thing about this coin is that rim. Now I don't ever remember digging up ones with that sort of sort of half cartwheel rim. Very bizarre. It's Britannia on the back. Hmm. Big old penny, I think. Let's see if I can find a date. No, can't see a date. No, I think it's just too far gone for the date. But yeah, funny big rim. Right, on to the next. Right, look what I got here. Old 50p. Old one. Unspendable, I'm afraid. I think so, I might have a bit of a coin spill here. I've, I've dug two holes, look. I turned the clot over, I could find the signal, and then I thought it dropped out onto the ground. I was rooting around looking for it on the ground, and it wasn't in on the ground, it was under the soil, so I had to dig another roll. So, I might have a, a bit of a coin spill here. Right, let's have a look. That's giving me quite a good signal there. Oh. Don't know. Don't think so. Well, that's giving me. Give me 85, but that's not part of a modern coin spill because it would be too deep. Because this pinpoint is not finding it. Give me eighty five, eighty six. It's going up, which is not a good sign when it starts going up. Oh. That's in the wall. Right. There it is. Yeah, it's a coin spill. It's a penny. It's the old drawbridge. Right, so 50p and a penny. Unspendable 50p, so the old uh, flow can't have that one. Right, on to the next. 
Right, I got something in here. It's got a 45, sort of, sort of 46. 44, 45, 46. So that's sort of button noises for me. It's in here somewhere. Is it on? Yes, it's on. Oh, perhaps not. It might just be a bit of rubbish. Oh, is that me? Beans for breakfast. Yep, just a bit of pesky foil. Ah! Oh, it's boiling. I'm gonna have to have, I started early, so I'm gonna have to have a bit of a cake break. Well wrapped. Oh, look at that. Mmm, mm, mm, mm. not bad. You see a farmer over there? Getting these big uh, toilet roll shaped bales in. Oh, here he comes. Miles away. That tractor looks like a dot. That will be going for one, two, three, four, five hours. I haven't found much today. Of course, I haven't rained for a week. When it rains, it really improves. I haven't rained for a week, so it's a bit dry. Still, can't complain. I'm finding things. This is a bit uh, glutinous. It's rocking my mouth up. Mmm. Right, I can't talk and eat at the same time, it's bad manners. Right, I thought I'd move over to the other side of the field, and I'd be walking around for ten minutes, and I thought well, I've had enough of this, so I was just about to walk off to the, back to where I was, and 51 fixed. 51, 50, 52. Four inches. And it's small. So. Knowing my luck, it'd be a bit of foil. Oh, nice and soft. It's one good thing. Right, I think it's in the clock.
Oh, I think it's a spoon handle. I think. Bit of a spoon, maybe. Bit of the blade. Looks like copper. Hmm. Don't know. Got a bit of a knife. Made of copper. Seems to be sharp at both edges. Don't know. I'll have to get that cleaned up, I think. Have a better look at it. Right. Right, I think it's a knife blade. But it's made of copper. Or some sort of copper alloy. It's got like a ridge going through here. And it slopes off either way, both sides. And it's got like this sort of like almost like pitted effect in there. And I suppose that could be corrosion. But yeah, it looks like a knife blade made of copper, which is a bit odd. Hmm, don't know. Might, and then, of course, it just could be a bit of junk, a bit of scrap. Don't know. I'll have to see what my finds in the aids and officer thinks of it. Right, on to the next. Oh, look at what we got in here. These things here. These are called slows. And you, what you do, they're very dry. Almost unedible. They're edible, but they are extremely dry. What you do is you get a bottle of gin, and you empty out some of the gin, which is not a problem. And then you half fill the bottle with these slows after they've been gone in the freezer and they're frozen solid. Put them in. And then you sugar it to taste. Once the sugar's dissolved, it's ready to drink. And it's really nice. And another trick is if you get a dog that likes you to chuck sticks for it all the time and it pesters you and you can't get rid of it, pick a load of these, put them in your pocket, put them in the freezer, and when the dog starts pestering you, in you get them, chuck these up in the air and they'll grab them with their mouths and they'll munch them. And uh, after the third one, I guarantee the dog will never hassle you again. Because it is like really horrible. It's not poisonous, just really horrible. Mm -hmm.